every creature on the planet sleeps. So what does that mean? That means it's critical to not only your life, but apparently life across the board needs to sleep in order to operate in this universe here. You'll spend one third of your life asleep, unconscious, essentially. What is going on with that? You know what I mean? Sure, it's recovering your tissues and your brain and all that stuff. But man, it's got to be something else going on with that. If you don't sleep, so, you know, I like to think about order of importance. Like, how important is your sleep? You know, well, it's really darn important, right? So if you said, I'm going to base order of importance based on how long can I survive without it. First off, everybody's maybe thinking of this, oxygen, right? If you don't get enough oxygen, you got two to five minutes and the party's over. And then you'd go water, you know, I remember when I looked this up, it was like three days, which was just crazy. It can't be three days, but call it three to 10, you know, whatever that is and sleep seven days. You know, they ran some studies on, on rats. Maybe humans could go a little farther because you couldn't really do it to a human. And I think get away with it with a rat today, but you know, they took groups of rats and they deprived them of not just sleep in general, but two specific aspects of sleep, the deep sleep and the REM sleep. And which one? The REM sleep rats died first. They died at seven days. And then the deep sleep rats died at eight days. So sleep, I used to hang around this group of people and they would always say, nobody ever died from lack of sleep. And I was like, yeah, that's true, man. Cool, bro. But that's not true. People have. 